Welcome everyone to our Hatha Yoga class. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next 60 minutes. So our class for us, our focus is on calm. Bedtime yoga, the time for ourselves to relax, calm the mind, calm the body. Beginning our class, we'll come to all fours. Feeling your hands into the ground, a little shift through the body. Wag your tail. And I know we all want a restful sleep, so let yourself enjoy these moments through the class. Hold neutral spine, the natural S curve of your spine, uncurl the toes, sit back into child's pose, forehead rests towards the ground. Slowly make your way back up to all fours, toes down toward the ground. Okay, come to seated again. Roll over to your back. Supine, knees are bent, then take the knees into the chest. Hold here, rock side to side. You may go forward and backwards. We'll massage into the spine. And let your body relax down to the floor, just stopping. Okay, turn the knees out into happy baby. Legs come up, hold below your knees, um, I should say into the knee pits or your ankles or outside edges of your feet. You can hold your big toes too with your peace fingers. Rock side to side. And that massage and come back to the center and hold stillness. Close the eyes. Okay, take the knees, releasing and take the knees back into the chest. Hold. Take the right foot down to the ground, take the left foot down to the ground. Press your right ankle over the left knee. Into figure four, wrap your hands around the let, left leg. Take the left foot off the ground, hold. You may place the right hand onto the inside of the right knee and gently press out. So increasing that stretch into the right side of the hip, flex both of the feet, taking to help take pressure off the knees. Close your eyes. Now come to your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhaling through the nose, opening up through the body. Exhaling, let yourself release into the ground. And then take your left foot down to the ground, switching sides, cross your Left ankle over the right knee. Wrap your hands around the right leg. Pick your foot off the floor and hold. You may place your left hand onto the inside of the left knee, flexing both of the feet to help take pressure off of the knees. 
Inhaling and exhaling, working through your breath, the Ujjayi breath, feeling it in, coming into the back of your throat like a wave. Carrying your breath like Darth Vader. Slowly release. Take both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze. Take the right foot down to the ground, left foot down to the ground. Moving into bridge. If you do have a foam block, so a little block here that you want to place between your knees, you may do so. It does help to take pressure off of the spine, off of the hips, the knees. Place your palms down to the ground. Always looking up towards the sky when you come into bridge. So if you need to see me first, please look and then do the pose. Okay, relax your shoulders. Draw your pelvis up towards the sky. We hold, continue to look up towards the sky. So holding that knee block helps to take pressure off the lower back. Deep breathing. Slowly lower your pelvis down. Okay, remove your knee block. Place it back to the top of your mat. Okay, into fetal. Right arm comes overhead, roll over to the right side and make your way up. Okay, into easy pose. Cross your right leg in front of the left leg. And your legs are crossed here. For easy pose, hold. Sitting cross-legged, we add a rotation, a twist. So inhale, sit up tall, being present. Exhale, rotating towards the left side. Looking over the shoulder as our last piece. Holding on with your right hands outside of the left knee. Inhale, you grow taller. Exhale, releasing into this pose a little bit deeper. Inhale, breath helps to, to support the spine. Exhale, breath helps you to release tension. Inhale, breath. You sit tall with your exhale breath. You make your way back to the center. Turn to the other side. And then release back to center. Okay. Into the other side. Cross your left leg first towards the body and then cross your right leg over top. Sitting tall, still an easy pose here. Sit up tall with the inhale breath. Exhale breath, turning towards the right side. Place your left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Last piece again is looking over the shoulder. You may close your eyes. Being present though. Quieting the mind, quieting the body. Use your breath to help you do this. Turning inward.
with the next exhale breath, make your way back to center and turn to the other side. Come back to center and hold to butterfly. Placing the bottoms of your feet together. Okay, holding here. Turn your feet, the bottoms of your feet towards the sky with a nice inhale breath, lift up, exhale breath, fold forward. Place your elbows down to the inside of your legs. Nice big fold forward, forehead being drawn down. Inhale breath, breathing into all those tight areas. Exhale breath, release. Exhale breath, let your body go, sinking deeper into the stretch. The next inhale breath leads us back up. And exhale breath, you let your body settle. Okay, take your legs out to a V. This big V here. Okay, hands go behind the bottom to help. Actually, before we come into the V-sit, let's take arms, be hands behind our bottom, bend the knees and windshield waver knees side to side. Get a little bit of movement. Put your pelvis here first. Okay, now, Let's come into the V sit. V sit tall. Hands go behind your bottom to help keep your back straight. With an inhale breath, we sit tall. Exhale breath, fold forward. Your hands may come in front and the forehead is being drawn down. Next inhale breath leads us back up. Exhale breath, release. Okay, windshield wiper, knees side to side. So bend through the knees and windshield wiper, knees side to side again. Into deer pose first. Okay, deer pose, right leg comes in front. Left leg comes behind. Okay, so I'm gonna fold my right leg in, take my left leg back. Pelvic tilt. Sit up tall, add a little rotation here, twisting over to the right side. So pelvic tilt is into the left side. So that's where you're feeling that stretch into your quad, into the hip flexors. You add a Deeper twist. The exhale breath helps us to come out of the twist and then twist to the other side. And then into the other side, left leg comes forward, right leg comes back, sit up tall, may flex both of those feet. Now I have my 
left knee at a 90 degree angle. You can have your right leg at a 90 degree angle too. Pelvic tilt and lift up. Inhale, exhale, twist. Relax the shoulders. Finding how deep for yourself that you need to go into this twist. Usually our hips are pretty tight. So if you find that there's any kind of pinching or anything like that, please come out of the twist. And then uh, windshield wipers are always really nice just to get the hips back to moving again, a little mobility through them. Okay, exhale breath leads us back center, may turn to the other side, then come back to the center. Okay. Sitting on top of the heels for hero. So come, you may come to all fours here first to get into hero, uncurl the toes and sitting on your heels. Place your palms down the hip crease. So draw your heels of your hands towards your hip crease. Relax your shoulders. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Close your eyes. Let your body settle. Now sometimes hero, of course, is not the easiest on our knees. You may come into easy pose with the legs crossed in front. You may also do a a seat on a chair, finding what is going to work for you. We are all different. And your body settles, opening up your eyes, come to all fours, puppy. Step, big step to the front, to the top of your mat with your right hand, big step to the top of the mat with the left hand, come into puppy, forearms come down to the ground. Your, the goal is to have your, your pelvis, your hips over top of your knees, forehead rests. Let your body just sink into the ground, let the body sinks, draw your heart down. If puppy doesn't work for your knees too, you can roll over to your back and tuck your knees into the chest for cradle. Slowly make your way up to all fours okay. and down for cobra. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders, uncurl the toes. Here, it's important to have our tops of the feet down, pull the navel up. So draw the navel towards your belly button up towards your spine. Pubic bone down, tops of the feet pressing down. You can contract your quadriceps and elbows pressing down at the ground. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Sitting tall, long through our spine. Lots of strength into our back. Really great back strengthener. Using our core muscles. These are your bandhas. Staying strong. 
and then slowly release, come into child's pose. So toes come back and then into child's pose. Your arms may be forward or the arms by the side of the body. Coming out of child's pose to a forward fold here. Take your legs forward and stretch into our hamstrings. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. With an inhale breath, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale breath, fold forward. Head hangs. Now this is a big stretch into our hamstrings. You may have your knees bent too when you do the full floor. The next inhale breath leads us back up. Arms inhale breath overhead. Exhale breath, release. Okay, bending through the knees. So take your knees to the side, come to all fours. Okay, and right the tail. Step forward with the right hand, step forward with the left hand into downward facing dog, alternate knee bends. And holding downward facing dog. Bending the knees enough to help take any kind of tension off of the hamstrings if you find that it's too much. Okay, let's go into a low lunge. Three-legged dog, take the right leg up towards the sky and then step between your hands for a low lunge. Take the left knee down to the ground. You can double up the mat to help with your knees. A little bit more padding. I have two mats here, so of course it's nice. This is also a knee block that I could use for my knee and place it under my knee. So finding what you need for yourself too, you might not need any of those kind of props too, but finding what's going to work for this lovely low lunge and continue to hold. Kicks down the back leg. So turning your shin so that it is in line with the back edge of your mat. Right knee continues to point forward. Take your hands to this nice big side opening here. Hands wider than the shoulders. The goal is to have your crown, the crown of the head, tuck the head down towards the ground, folding forward. Relax your shoulders. Slowly make your way up with your inhale breath. Exhale, pull up, take your hands back. The front kick, send the leg back. Sitting back into a hamstring stretch here. So sit back with your bottom and your right toes come up towards the sky. You can do this without putting pressure on the knee by sitting on your bottom and taking your left foot in towards the inner thigh too. You don't have to do it this way that I'm showing you. So finding what's going to work for you. Mm -hmm. 
Exhale, breath, come a little bit deeper into the pose. And then slowly come back, take your right foot back towards the front. Okay, making our way back up to downward facing dog. So taking our lunge back to downward facing dog. And alternate knee bends here. Into three legged dog on the left side. Okay. Up leg comes straight up and step between your hands forward. Right knee comes down. Find that support for the right knee, however you need. Hold your low lunge. Left knee continues to be drawn straight ahead. That's your tracking there. Sitting back into, oh, sorry, first, <laughs> that's your kickstand. So kicks down the back leg so that your shin is parallel with the back edge of your mat. Left knee is being drawn forward still. Take your hands to the side here and wider than the shoulders. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Fold forward, crown of the head coming down to the ground. Down to the ground. Making your way up and then kick stand the back leg. Take your hands to the front and then kick stand the back leg. Okay, sit back into the hamstring stretch. And remember, we've got that other option here too. So sitting back, toes up towards the sky. You may also sit on your bottom and take your right foot in towards the left inner thigh. You're going to add a bigger fold forward with the exhale breath. Nose to knee. Slowly make your way up and low lunge back into downward facing dog. Okay, again, alternating knee bends. Okay, to bend all fours, to bend to the knees and then come to all fours. Okay, all fours, fold here. Turn your body so you're gonna face the front and come onto the knees here, facing forward. And you are in all fours here, facing forward. Take the right leg out to the side. Stretching into your inner thigh here, and then come up. Take your right arm up, bend over, left arm down. Sit down, big stretch into the side of our body. Turn your head. Slowly make your way back. Up. Okay, take the hands forward, tuck that leg back into the center. Okay, into left side. Take your left leg out, coming up. Left arm comes up and over, right arm comes down. Looking forward or turn your head up towards the sky. Finding that balance. And then make your way back up. Hands forward, tuck the foot in, all fours here. Okay, wave the tail. Okay, turn the body so your head is facing forward. So all fours here. 
Okay, left hand, take it a little bit wider than the shoulder. Inhale, sweep your right arm up to shoulder height, and then draw the arm down. Draw your shoulder down towards the ground. Turn your head the opposite way of your right arm. Turn towards the left. Big stretch into the front of our body. Top of the shoulder. Into your chest, feeling the stretch. Front to your shoulder. Inhale, breath leads us back up. On your own time and then exhale breath, your hand comes down. Your left hand comes underneath the shoulder. Step your right hand out just a little ways from your right shoulder. Inhale breath, take your left hand up to shoulder height and then exhale breath, coming down to the ground with that arm and turn your, your head towards the right side. Close your eyes, draw your shoulder down. With the inhale breath coming up, exhale breath, hand down. Okay, step forward with right hand, step forward with the left hand into downward facing dog. Again, alternate evens to plank. Okay, hold stillness and downward facing dog and to plank. Take your forearms down to the ground and hold. Take your feet closer together to make it a little bit more challenging. Using your bandhas, your core strength, hold. Keep breathing. Coming into your breath. You may count your breaths out, inhaling for four counts, exhaling for four, four counts. Keep breathing. You can do it. Two more cycles of breath. Now sitting back into child's pose. We hold. Okay, excellent. Roll over to your back. Just the time. Take the knees into the chest. So you could do this too, also instead of child's pose. Back to bridge. This time bridge will be a flowing movement, looking up towards the sky the whole time. Place your palms down towards the ground. Oh, I should also say, make sure that your heels are close enough into your bottom. You wanna be able to feel your heels with your fingertips. So that's the distance away from your bottom. 
Okay, inhale breath, you draw your pelvis up towards the sky. Engage your abundance, energy locks, exhale breath, draw down. You may use your foam block too, placing it between the knees when you come up and down. That way it takes pressure off of the spine. Work through your breath, inhale up. Always wanna take pressure off of her lower back. Inhale up and the exhale is down. And we hold here with our pelvis down towards the ground. Lift your feet off of the ground. Again, you can hold your block between knees. And it could be a foam block or it could be a cork block too. But a cork block would be really heavy. <laughs> so foam block, block is, is better for this purpose. Okay. Heels are going to be drawn down towards the ground so you can flex your feet. Taking both your heels down to the ground, engage your buttons with the inhale, draw down. Exhale, draw up. Inhale, draw down. Draw the heels down. Exhale, draw up. Make it harder, legs straight. Engage your buttons. One more time. Okay, bend to the knees, take your feet down to the ground, remove your block if you are using your, your block, and then just hold palms down to the ground. Cross your right ankle over top of the left ankle. Picking up the left foot off the floor, wrap your hands around the left foot. And we did figure four at the beginning. I need you to flex both of those feet. Now our pelvis, usually again, it's, it's tight. And then we're coming into this pose again. Hopefully that you feel a little bit more release. Close your eyes. Inhale breath, breathing into all those tight areas. Exhale breath, letting go. Bringing our legs up and over to the left side. So just hold this pose and then bring your legs up and over to the left side. Take your left hand, pull the right heel in towards the side of the body. The goal is to have your right knee up towards the sky. So really a bigger opening into the side of the hip here. You can take the right arm in line with the shoulder, turn the head the opposite way. Take the head back to the center. Legs come back to the center. And cross the right ankle. And crossing your left ankle over top of the right knee. Wrap your hands around the right leg. Take the legs in towards the body. That right foot comes off. Flex both feet back into figure four for the other side. And again, notice 
how your pelvis is. Inhale to all those tight areas again and exhale, let your body settle. Take your legs up and over to the right side. Hold on to the left ankle with the right hand and then pull the ankle in towards the body. Left knee coming up towards the sky is the goal. Take the left arm out to shoulder height. Turn your head to the opposite side. It comes back to the center. The legs come back to the center. Take the knees into the chest and hold. Take the left foot down towards the ground. Take the right leg still into the chest. Extend your left leg out straight on the ground. Hold. Take the right leg up towards the sky. Knee bent with the right leg and point, flex the foot. Hold the foot flexed, straighten your leg as much as possible to get the stretch into the hamstrings, into the calf. Use your breath, inhale to those tight areas. Exhale to help release. Direct your breath to the areas of tightness. Okay, bending through the right knee. Take the left knee back into the chest, hold. This time, take the right foot down to the ground. Left leg comes up, the knee is bent. Extend your right leg straight down on the ground and hold. Point and flex the left foot. Holding the foot flex, straighten your leg as much as possible. You may hold behind the leg. And take your upper body off of the ground. Bend the left knee and bend the right knee and take the knees back into the chest for cradle. And hold. Come into a little twist here. Take the legs up and over to the left side. Arms in line with the shoulders. Turn your head the opposite way of the legs. comes back to the center with your core strength. So the bun does take the leg back towards the center, then take the leg bent over to the right side. Arms again in line with the shoulders, you may have the opposite way of the legs.
head comes back to the center. Core strength and bend us, take the legs back to the center, knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Take your right foot down, left foot down to the ground, knees are bent. Arms come in line with the shoulders, a nice big inhale breath here. Exhale breath, give yourself a big hug, wrap your arms around and hug. Inhale breath, open up those arms. Exhale breath, wrap your arms the opposite way. So if you have your right arm above, then it's left arm above first. Inhale, open up. Exhale, give yourself a big hug again, and maybe the right arm above now. Inhale, open. Exhale, big hug. Left arm, maybe above now. Inhale, open. And exhale, knees back into the chest. Hug. Take your legs up the wall and hold. Bringing our blood back to our heart in an easier way. Release. Take the right foot down to the ground, left foot down to the ground. Our final pose, Shavasana. Shavasana, of course, could be lying on your back, knees bent, or legs straight. Now, if you have a blanket or warm clothes that you would like to place on your body, please do so before you come into the pose, you have some time here to set yourself up. And then coming into Shavasana. Shavasana, you can lie on the side of the body or you can be on an incline too or a comfortable seated position. So for, for meditation. We quiet our nervous system here by finding that stillness. Helping to calm our mind. Our affirmation is, I am able to quiet my mind. I am able to quiet my mind. I am able to quiet my mind. Once you are settled in Shavasana, your eye sockets close, or your eyes closed and your eye sockets are heavy. Your facial muscles relax. Feel your neck muscles let go. Feel your shoulders soften. And your arms melt. And release whatever you do not need out through the fingers. Your lips part. Coming down your chest, your tummy, your belly, let it soften. Squeeze your glutes and let them release into the ground. Let them go, let them melt. Coming down your legs.
Press your ankles and out your feet, you soften, let go. Enjoying this relaxation, this meditative state for yourself. I'll call you back when it is time.
slowly coming back. Noticing the surface that you're lying on, hearing sounds around you. Maybe there's smells that you smell. Wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. A shift through the body. And then hold center. Notice your heart. Feel a peace surround you. Feel a peacefulness around you. You are strong. You are love. That peace surrounds you. It guides you through your journey in life. When you're ready, coming to a comfortable seated position with your hands at your heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Quieting our mind. Come back to your breath to help you quiet your mind, quiet your body. Finding that control in your body with your breath. Namaste.